In this video tutorial I will show you how to create ports and set up their terrain. Let's create a new world element. You can leave the area size and height map resolution settings to default. Double click to open. This is our world. At start it's empty. In order to add some terrain, first we need to create a material. Grass. This is the material. And let's set up some texture. We can use this one. Let's add some pump mapping effects. Much nicer. Now that we have some grass material, we can proceed to adding some terrain. Drag and drop the material onto the material slot. And now we can start adding terrain chunks using left and the right mouse buttons. The right mouse button adds terrain chunks to the world and the left button removes them. Okay, but the terrain is very flat, so let's do something about it. You can use the hide brush tool. We can Adjust the brush parameters for the size, speed and softness. So let's make some hills. Okay, we're getting somewhere. But in order to create more variation, we can use the image button, which will use mask texture that will affect the height brush. For example, with the default settings, we'll get something like this. But we can use the pattern button to get a different kind of effect. Let's make some room for paths. You, we'll use the flatten functionality. We can now disable the image mask as we won't be needing it for the moment. Reduce the size. Reduce the speed as well. Okay, we have a nice path now, but it will look much better with a different material. So let's create one. Material path. Oops. Path. Let's set up texture. Go with the bump mapping effect. And now to set a different material to the terrain, we need to apply the materials onto the material brush slots. So drag and drop the grass, drag and drop the path. And now we have two materials ready to use. Select the path with the left click. And now we can apply it on the, 
on the terrain with the right mouse button. So increase the size and speed. But we can notice that we are applying the material onto the vertical parts of the terrain, which we don't want. So we need to apply the slope modifier. By default, it will apply the brush only to the parts of the terrain based on their vertical angle. So we need to adjust using left right mouse button. We need only flat areas. So let's set this to very low. And now let's try applying the material. We can now go full speed. And you can see that the path no longer applies to the vertical part, but just the flat areas. Okay, now we have a path. But just to get rid of these elements, go back to ma the grass material, and now we can do the opposite. Apply the material only to vertical parts. So even when painting on the flat, it doesn't get applied. It would be cool to apply some rock-based materials to this mountain. So let's create a new material rock use this texture apply it again to the material brush slot rock select it and let's use the slope modifier around the middle and let's try Okay, it looks pretty cool, but I think it can look better. We can try adjusting the UV scale for the rock texture. Now, use it in this direction. Much nicer. Now we have a basic world.